Stop lying to yourself. For Socrates, the great Greek philosopher, he believed that the thing that caused us most damage was that we lie to ourselves. So I want you to think of that thing that's most frustrating you now and ask yourself, is it really true? Are these great scenarios that I'm coming up with in my mind really true? Be brutally honest with yourself. The truth shall set you free. And in today's guided meditation, we are going to explore that and help you process some of the lies you are telling yourself that are holding you back, that are sabotaging you, that are preventing you from moving forward. Like, comment, and share these videos with as many friends as possible. And you're welcome to support the production of these guided meditations through becoming a patron. find eudaimonia, love, freedom, and flourishing. Now we will proceed to the Academia. Follow me. place of learning and transformation. Bring to mind a particular thought or belief that had been worrying or upsetting you before you came to the island. A story you've been repeating in your mind that's distressing you or making you anxious. Notice what happens to you when you begin to believe that story or narrative. How does it make you feel physically, emotionally? Now focus on the exact words you've been telling yourself. Try to state it in simple terms. I shall ask you three questions to help you to clarify your thinking. We will apply the filters of ethos, pathos, and logos, the three golden principles of Greek philosophy. First is the test of ethos, the integrity and truthfulness of your troubling thoughts. Ask yourself, is my story true? Are these beliefs and words I'm telling myself really true? 
Consider that we have many ways of distorting the truth in our mind. We dramatize and generalize and arrive at false or partly false narratives. Don't allow these to take root in your mind and cause you anxiety. Ask yourself, have I been dramatizing the situation? Am I over-personalizing it or taking offense at things I shouldn't? Demystifying our false thinking processes loosens the ground on which they stand. This is what we aim to do here today by focusing on ethos. Sometimes it takes a small doubt and the walls come tumbling down to our illusions. The truth shall set you free. Now the priestess tells you it's time for the second test, the test of pathos, your emotions. Is the narrative you've been repeating to yourself kind? Are you being kind towards yourself? Are you being kind towards the others who may be involved? We are all human and make mistakes, and we must learn from them and not let them drain our energy and confidence. Perhaps someone else in your life long ago, when you were a little child, or an adolescent spoke harshly or critically to you. You don't need to follow that example anymore. Be kind to yourself. Being too self-critical is toxic for you. And what about the others who may be involved? Have you judged them correctly? Try to see their perspective. I know that can be difficult, but ultimately this is for your benefit. The kindness and largeness of your heart actually serves you to help you get rid of toxic, energy-draining thoughts so that you can feel free once again. Now the priestess proclaims, the final test is the test of Logos. It has to do with the logic and reason and practicality of your assumptions. Ask yourself, are my thoughts useful? Fear has its uses. It protects you and alerts you to real dangers. But too much fear and pessimism can poison your mind. It fills you with self-defeating doubt. Don't let it paralyze you with indecision. Consider your limiting story, narrative, or belief. What is the benefit of allowing it to run around in your mind? Is it useful to you in any way? If it doesn't, let it go. Imagine for a moment who you could be without it. What would your life look like if it did not exist? The Greek philosopher Epictetus taught that it's not the things that upset us, but our impressions or perspectives of those things. 
So try to rephrase or modify your story in your mind so that it is more truthful, kind, and useful. Ethos, pathos, logos. Transform it into a positive affirmation, beginning with I am. Placing your right hand over your heart, repeat it in your mind mentally. This is the oath to yourself. No matter what may happen in your life from now on, you will remember this oath, this deep affirmation. No one can ever take it away from you. Your transformation is complete. It's time to return. The priestess leads you outside the temple. The sun warms your face again, and as you descend the stairs, a golden mirror appears in front of you. In it, you can see your future. It is a bright, positive future. See yourself walking with confidence and certainty in your future. A smile on your face, your shoulders back, and your head held high. You are acting with ethos, handling all your affairs and businesses from a place of integrity, truth, attracting the right people. You are enjoying and appreciating life, enthusiastic and passionate about your work, creating and attracting more affluence and abundance in your life. Love. You follow the priestess back in the direction of the shore, past the waterfall, down the hill, past the orange grove, the cypress trees, and further down the path, the olive grove. Finally, you arrive at the palm trees at the golden beach. The priestess smiles at you. This is where we part, she says. Go forth and shine your light. And if sometimes you feel like you want to renew yourself, I will always be here for you. You turn and gaze at the brilliant sunset. When you turn back, the priestess is no longer there. There is only the small statue resting in the sand. You are not saddened by this. You know that the priestess will always be with you, that you can always come back. Like, comment, 
and share these videos with as many friends as possible. And you're welcome to support the production of these guided meditations through becoming a patron. When you become a patron, you can also have more say as to what types of meditations I upload. Is that you get to listen to these guided meditations without any advertisement interruptions. Yeah.